if you respect the choices of hundreds of thousands of parents in the state of Michigan, I think you should reject these bills. Uh, 30 years ago, your predecessors created Michigan's charter school law, and parents at the time were frustrated, maybe like many today, that the performance of their local public school wasn't good enough. It was persistently low-performing schools, and so they wanted a choice. Wealthy families, of course, can choose private schools. They can move to a different district. But what about families who don't have that luxury? They deserve a choice, too. So your predecessors created the charter school law, and they had an important decision to make. Should they create new regulations and new laws to oversee these new independent public schools, or should they use the same system, the same regulations that they have for the existing school districts? And what they chose to do, wisely in my view, is to treat all public schools the same and subject these new independent schools to the same standards as school districts. And so since then, we've maintained fair and equal standards for school districts and for charter schools. These bills would upend that. They would get rid of those fair and equal standards that we have for public schools. In particular, uh, the Senate Bill 947 is particularly problematic because it would outlaw this relatively common practice of charter schools leasing and renting buildings. Uh, as, been, as has been mentioned, uh, charter schools cannot raise special revenue to afford capital costs and things like that, like school districts can. So instead, what they do, many of them do, is they lease and rent buildings. Uh, if this bill passes, that would jeopardize the expansion of these kinds of schools. In fact, two of those types of schools uh, just recently uh, were awarded blue ribbons from the U.S. Department of Education. Uh, one of only 12, or sorry, two of only 12 public schools in the whole state who got that honor. That's the hard truth about this legislation is that it would reduce the amount of options that are available for parents in the future. The sad truth, I think, is that this really has nothing to do with improving public schools. It's about limiting competition that school districts face from charter schools. That's why these regulations are geared towards charter schools and not towards conventional districts. That's why there's hardly been any evidence provided except anecdotes and conjectures about what the problem is here. School districts would benefit if we force charter schools to submit to these onerous mandates. This is, appears to be rigging the rules of the level playing field that we've established in Michigan. Uh, school districts might not like that level playing field, but Michigan parents definitely do. You should reject these bills because we need to preserve educational choices for Michigan families, and we should keep the fair and equal standards that we've established for public schools. Thank you. Thank you.